and I can do it just like this and have relatively few uh... oh come on everyone are you gonna wow what the heck <laughs> what are you doing so weird if I had done that well actually yeah I could have done that slightly better and I could have made a well I could have made a perfect kill hole probably but it's not important uh, it's in the stream title lightly and there is a blog post mr. I check the plan every day <laughs> I think in the last two blog posts, uh, given the release date. Alright, so the name of the game in this, in this vault is to... Uh, Looks like we got no... Ah, there it is. There's the Zot Trap. Sour, please. Alright, but this side is fine. I'm glad you like him through dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good job uh, locking yourself out of uh, chasing me. I'm just going to hit this guy with overwhelming force. Ancient Rich. Uh-huh. Brimstone Fiend, huh? Well, for that, I might just go ahead and go back up and rest that off. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Alright, we got uh, 22 fighting. Probably just keep this on. Side 24. That one doesn't need a limit. Uh, and we will take Dex. Probably not going to improve our. Yeah, it's not going to improve our. Oh, I've been out. I guess I don't have my slaying ring on, do I? 7%, so I can still get red miscasts, but it's not that bad. So mostly the stuff I'm going to care about is, uh, yeah, these dispelling guys. All right. It's not going to work. Uh, they don't spam their breath quite as much. Getting a little bit low on... Uh... Yeah, he's going to corrode, but I don't really care about that too much. Three hundred HP. Don't have to go all the way back to the kill hole. Um, Sort of evaluating this. 
based on what what kind of monster I'm seeing. Aha! How did uh oh? Now how did uh, did he uh? Ah, he had a scroll of summoning. I was like, what was there a Zod trap? Thankfully, he was almost dead, so it got unsummoned. That's the type of thing that would often happen if you step on a Zot trap. Would get you would get shadow creatures or maybe stuff convoked. Area support. Gotta get that gold. Here's our first orb of fire. We'll want to. Um, we cut through our haste a little bit with some of those shenanigans, um, but we still have a fair amount. I mean, it's just good to have a couple potions for the orb run, more or less. It's not even required to have haste on the orb run, it is just really good. Orb run teleport is so strong that um, it's your main sort of escape tactic. Just read it really early and start juking monsters or just use dig and other various tactics but it's always good to have haste if you if you can there's the elect golem what are we looking like yeah we got the love uh how he helpfully blinks every five seconds Here's our orb of fire. We can go ahead and use the fog for that. We cast dragon form. I mean, I don't actually need too much against this guy. I'll try fighting one just initially with just this and we'll see what happens. One hit, severely damaged. Two hit, almost destroyed. Four hit, or three hit, almost destroyed. Four hit, dead. I've seen them die in two hits before. And um, only two levels of RF. So yeah, this form is really good against uh, Orbs of Fire. Your EV is useless, your SH is useless, all it comes down to is your pure AC, which uh, Dragon Form is crappy with that, but it makes up for it by having a gazillion HP. And um, two levels of uh, Fire Resist is also very helpful. Looks like we rolled maybe a, a batch of killer clowns. Okay, where did uh where did you go exactly? Oh, C and Viz, huh? Or... I'd use Ozo here. Yeah, we definitely rolled killer clowns in this chamber, I think. They are kind of rare to just randomly spawn in the in the vault. So if you see them in any kind of group, you know that like the the upper chamber probably rolled that set as its like main set because there's sort of main sets of monsters: uh, ancient lich, orb of fire, uh, killer clown. And if it's killer clown, that's a lot easier. just a healing potion in end games um well he's one of the best gods for extended because he's he's like a healing potion every turn you you kill a monster and that's really really good <laughs> it's kind of like being a you know it's like you kind of get the deep dwarf power so he's he's excellent in extended and he also doesn't prevent you from using uh the really good uh, necromancy spells so he's he's I quite like Machlub and Extended. Um, TSO is is outstanding as well. And of course you can just be Vehemet and use Firestorm if you want. If we're talking uh, 15 rune games. Oh, where did you come from? 
Yeah, on Zot, you can expect monsters to just randomly teleport into your lows because there's tons of uh, teleport traps all throughout this vault. Of course, there's also a lot of Zot traps, as you can kind of tell. Yeah, so now we're getting close to the uh, chamber. Should have cast that before that guy came into Los, but it's all right. So we're going to start seeing a ton of these guys. There's one of those teleport traps. I don't really want him to be teleported. I'd prefer to just go ahead and kill him. Yeah, they move at speed 15, so they can they can close gaps. Is that Holy Word? Nice. Helpful on the orb run. Holy Word scrolls are pretty good for... They're useful in Zot, and they're useful on the orb run a little bit. I mean, you can spam... If you have a stack of them, you can spam them and probably kill um, most things that you care about. And they can do really good damage to, like, an Ancient Lich. Um, they can be pretty good for a curse toe even. The dazing effect that, that the scroll has, it, it has this daze effect where the monster has like a 25% chance to do nothing, which is which is nice, but it's just not a guarantee. So it's not like a not exactly a panic button scroll in the sense that if you're if you were gonna die in one turn, you could rely on that. Because it's probably not gonna, it's probably not gonna make the uh, the monster do nothing. But that is something that is like a nice bonus, I guess. Yeah, there's another killer clown. So only one orb of fire. All right. I take a quick backtrack and there we go I knew there was gonna be some fun um, I don't want to give that lich a bunch of turns in uh, in low so he can summon demons so I'm just gonna back around that corner there all right well we're pretty much ready to get this Orb run underway. One shot the E Golem. Oh, there's another Orb Guardian. Um, might hold on to. I only have two Brilliance potions. then again not a lot of use for those so let's go ahead and brill and port the orb boom okay so we got it sits middle um, what I might do is go for statue and haste it up and down he goes um, we'll probably go back to Dragon. I could have used Holy Word there, but, you know, it's not... Wasn't actually going to prevent anything. Ooh, Elephant. That's something you don't see every day. Alright. I know, Substyly, if he's listening, he is immersed as hell right now. He is so immersed. Sounds like my neighbors are having some kind of party. Thanks for doing that when I when I did a stream, neighbors. Okay, so up here I want to go and uh, dig. I don't really want to dig. Uh, how many charges? I'm not really low. I'm gonna dig. Like I prefer to dig into rock rather than walking into an open area. 
And there we go. There was a nice, uh, there's a Hellion, but we're just, we're going to walk away. No reason to fight the Hellion. And from this point, I usually like to just take each, um, you can see those miscasts are real. I, I would prefer to have fewer of them, but hey, can't have everything. Oh yeah, if you're really close to stairs, it's not a bad idea to actually check. Uh, in this case... Oh wow, that's really far away, huh? What about this one? Yeah, like, so I'm really close to this other, so these stairs are like infinitely better than those ones that I would have taken, because if I had taken those stairs, I would have to... I could... In this case, I'm not sure if I could dig. I, I think I actually could, though. It looks like this is this is diggable, but you can see it still would have been uh, longer. Uh, no, it's it's normal move speed. And so, yeah, I usually go ahead and just to be extra sure, we'll check the stairs. And I just want to look for the one that's closest to an upstairs. So it's it's unusual to have like basically equal choice of all of them. And I think this one was the best one. Yeah. I could end my transform, but there's not really. And so, and if you're, if you can see that you're way far away from like any other staircase, you don't even need to bother checking to like do the calculus of like, oh, but what if, you know, what if the next one is much shorter because it's just not worth your time. Oh no, Yanox, Yanoxinal, what, whatever will I do? Yeah, like this one, I'm so close to this, I'm not going to bother checking any other stairs. It's really just when you happen to. On this level, I have to go to the depths entrance, so I don't really have a choice. I can just uh, key that up. Oh no, Ufetibus, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to fight that guy on the stairs and um, eat up. Okay, so this I will go to those. Okay, there's a Tormentor. I can... Um, Possibly, uh, it's kind of low. I'll uh, I'll fog, and I guess I'll go ahead and statue and uh, whack that guy in the face, and then I just want to get out. I could have ended transform there if I wanted to. Oh, it's uh, Hell Monk's favorite monster. Oh no, that's Orange Demon. I'm sorry. This, it's not a Red Devil. I saw a Red Four, and I assumed it was Red Devil. Okay, so for here, it looks like I'm going to run to this hatch, because just there's nothing else closer. I'll wait till that guy gets close and then deal with him. And, um, not anything too close. We'll just we'll rely on, uh, don't be, don't be shy about taking hatches. The only special levels are, like, Depth one where you have to get to the uh, stairs, and um, of course, dungeon one where you have to get to the exit. But from this point on, it's. I'd prefer not walking through totally wide open areas because you have no cover from. You know, you have no cover from anything that spawns. get much better than that and also don't be afraid to dig it's if you have any dig that you can buy it's good to stock up well so far so far it's been a pretty free orb run d1 guys aha So we don't know what this guy has, and we have to make our decisions very carefully here. Um, there's a Rust Devil. I might start with a Holy Word. And... Um, And then we'll haste, and we'll dragon. I hit you, hit the lich, and now we're gonna hit this guy. 
Okay, he's got demon summons. We'll go ahead and co-op Might. Boy, he's got some real staying power, but down he goes. Nice try, uh, Boziag. You had you had admirable uh, defenses, but you have low MR, and the Lich is going to paralyze you. It is true. I could have gotten paralyzed, but uh, it's okay. I killed the Lich very quickly, so you know, I could swap to I could have swapped to uh, uh, an MR ring. Actually, I don't even think I did a final check. I still had that on for C and Viz, so. You don't even have a guarantee is the thing. You just want to increase your increase the chance that it's not going to happen. The other thing about the Pan Lord is that they can have like um, AF Chaos. You, so you kind of just don't know. You know, you have to make a decision of how you're going to fight them. I could have tried to spam Sacks of Spiders and get away from him. Um, I made the choice to fight him right there and it worked out fine. So, you know, don't, don't, don't overthink it too much. You have to like do the most you can to give yourself the best chance you can, but you can't, you can't make your character perfect for absolutely every situation. I wonder actually what is, uh, I don't know if it'll show... Yeah, paralyzed 2%. So 2% with MR3 and... Um, with this... 16%. I mean, 1 in 6. It can happen. Perfect character is feck. Well, I don't know if I can dispute that. I did, oh, okay, I guess you have to hit enter. Well, there's OGTM. He was not... Uh, this took way too long, uh, this this one, in part because I just did some extra stuff and also there was some weirdness. Normally I would have sent a character like this in, I think, shorter time. This is probably already shown up in sequel. Let's see. No, that was about the same. I guess I play TM pretty slow then. I just don't play them fast. That's something I could try to improve the next time. Because 12 hours is really long for a 3 rune game. Like, even for me, I usually try to win them in like, you know, 9 hours or something. Spellcasters are, I can allow it. But you kind of have to make decisions carefully with TM. But yep, there's game 12 of the streak. Uh, game 13 is already pretty much in the bag. We've got uh, um, this character, which is a Sprig and Venom Mage who's already cleared Orc. And uh, it's pretty hard to lose a Spriggan, so barring anything really, st it's basically built up as a stabber at this point. Yeah, they're, they're definitely, like, you don't have to take all that long to win a TM, really. Obviously, if you play, like, something like a TRTM, it's going to be super fast. Um, you know, I tend to switch around the different kinds of characters that I play a lot. I If you look at uh, how I spread out my species and classes... Um, You can see that it's it's very even. Most people don't do this. So I switch character archetypes from game to game basically all the time. I'm going for one and one games. So, you know, you kind of get mentally swapped in. Also, I'll sometimes take pauses. And I just sort of go slowly and carefully. I mean, I'm on a streak, so I figure I'm allowed to play as slowly as I want pretty much. If I was playing with less... You know, if I was doing other kinds of runs, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't play so slowly. But if you want to win games, it's, it helps to slow down. If you're playing in a tournament, you can't do this because you'll get fewer points because you'll win fewer games. But tournaments are 
you know, they're their own kind of thing. Okay, so what I need to do now is pull new. 